Tonight, the concerns from teachers about returning to the classroom this fall continue to be voiced. This morning, a group called Alabama Teachers Against COVID-19 held a protest in front of the state capitol. Our reporter Rashad Hudson has reaction tonight. It's not every day you see a group of Alabama teachers out protesting, but this morning the handful that were here in front of the Capitol say their message is about saving lives, which is why they're pushing for all Alabama schools to go virtual. Our message is save lives. I love my kids, but I don't want to die for my kids with Corona. Um, a lot of our students, their parents are essential workers and they're going to bring this illness home. Alabama teachers against COVID-19 held a silent protest in front of the Capitol Thursday, letting their sign speak for them. This handful of teachers are asking state leaders to allow virtual learning for all schools this fall. We've come to that conclusion that that is the safest method of learning and teaching. Although many school districts are starting virtually, there's others that will meet in person. No teacher will be left behind and that's why I'm here today. Those against virtual learning say that it will cause more problems for students down the road. When children are at home, they're unsupervised. They're not getting the education. Here's Suzelle Josie's message for teachers who are concerned about returning to class. If teachers choose not to go back to school, then that's their choice. They can choose stay home. And of course, this will become an ongoing situation as more school districts roll out their plans for this fall. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.